So prices are down from the peak. Let's see if that's really changed affordability. RateHub came out with an article about two weeks ago that talked about the affordability in Toronto and it talks about how it is more affordable now to purchase a home than it was back in June. Let's go through that article. I'm Michael Luzes, I'm a realtor in the Greater Toronto Area. Before we get started, if you can throw a comment down below on if you think that houses have become more affordable in the last few months and especially since the peak back in February and March. So let's take a look at this article, October 2022, how much income do you need to afford a home in Canada? This was written by John Jelani, a bilingual content marketing strategist on ratehub.ca. It was published on November 16, 2022. According to data compiled by ratehub.ca, homes across the country are becoming more affordable. We calculated the minimum annual income required to buy a home in Canada's major cities based on October 2022 real estate data. The report seen below illustrates how changing mortgage rates, stress test rates, and real estate prices have impacted the income needed to purchase a home. So it goes on to say here that you need less income to qualify for the average home. They did a report back in August 2022, which went through these same 10 cities. And since then, all average home prices have decreased across all 10 cities on that list. While home prices have gone down noticeably, mortgage rate and the stress test rate has gone slightly up from where they were just a few months ago. The result is that in all 10 cities, you need less income to qualify for the average home than you did over the summer. In a statement by James Laird, the co-CEO of Rahab.ca, he says that homes are becoming more affordable across the country. With the Bank of Canada suggesting that rate hikes are nearing an end and the continued softening of home prices, affordability should continue to improve in the coming months. It is likely that June 2022 will prove to be the low point for affordability since mortgage rates were up while home prices had not yet softened significantly. He also adds that as affordability continues to improve, we will likely see home buyers resume their search in the new year. We will have to wait and see if sellers are interested in listing their home at values that are significantly lower than at their peak. And that peak was February, March, 2022 for most areas, especially in the greater Toronto area. So let's take a look at the chart and we can see the average home price in these 10 cities on the chart. We're gonna use Toronto and Hamilton since these are part of the greater Toronto area. Hamilton is kind of on the brink. We kind of classify it as borderline. Trev, the Toronto real estate board does not factor Hamilton into Trev. So it's not exactly in the GTA, but it's only about 40 miles or 60 kilometers away. The average price in Toronto was just over 1.2 million in June, about 1 million 125,000 in August and just under 1.1 million in October. The change in price between October and August was down $26,400. So what does that look like from an affordability standpoint of how much income you need to make per year, per household? In June, the average mortgage rate was 5.21%, stress test of 7.21%. So you would need to make $226,400 $500 to qualify. In August at a 5.3% mortgage rate, that number would be $213,950 a year. And in October at a 5.44 mortgage rate, the number would be $211,650 a year. A difference of a drop of $2,300 per year needed to afford the average Toronto priced home at $1.1 million. If we look at Hamilton, in June, the average price in Hamilton was 934,000. In August, just over 862,000. And in October, about 837,000. And again, using those same mortgage rates of June, August, and October, 179,000 income combined in June, 167,500 in August, and 164,800 in October, a drop of $2,700 a year. So the bottom line here in the article says that with the Bank of Canada signaling that the worst of the rate hikes may be behind us, there is room to be cautiously optimistic about the state of home affordability in Canada. Falling home prices combined with relatively stable though high mortgage rates mean that affordability is likely to continue to improve over the remainder of 2022 and into 2023. So even though prices have come down from August to October, I don't think it's really made a big dent in the affordability. Mortgage rates have gone up, so the monthly cost is about the same. Prices are only down about 25,000 from August through October, 
which means that the annual income required is down about $2,500 a year. But as mortgage rates have gone up, the monthly cost every single month is what you're actually gonna feel in your bank account. And I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on if you thought that the affordability would be a little bit better than what it's showing. If you ever wanna book on my calendar, click on the link in the description down below. And I'd love to get these videos out to more people just like you looking to educate themselves in the market. So hit that like and subscribe button as well.